respiratory system percussion introduction the setting for the chest examination must be environmentally comfortable for both the clinician and the patient the examiner greets the patient asks about the symptoms that initiated the visit and begins physical inspection noting body position assessing degree of comfort inspecting and assessing the patient before continuing into an in-depth examination technique the pulmonary examination consists of inspection palpation percussion and auscultation the purpose of percussion is to determine if the area under the percussed finger is air filled that is sounding resonant like a drum fluid filled that is a dull sound or solid a flat sound to make this interpretation it is important not only to listen for the sound produced but also to feel the intensity and frequency of vibrations produced by this maneuver what to observe during percussion dull note resonant note diaphragmatic excursion procedure introduce yourself and confirm the patient's identity explain what is going to take place and ask for consent make sure your palm is warm before percussing any patient ask the patient to lie supine place the left middle finger fleximeter finger on the area to be percussed the back of its middle phalanx is then struck with the tip of the right middle finger percussing finger make sure that the percussive movement originates at the wrist and not at the elbow percuss over each intercostal space on the anterior lateral and posterior chest wall in such a way that the long axis of the percussed finger is roughly parallel to the ribs compare one side to the other when percussing over the chest and back move back and forth across the thorax in a systematic fashion comparing one side of the body to the other there are two sounds to listen for while percussing resonant sound dull sound resonant sounds will be heard during percussion over the lungs till you reach the diaphragm if you hear dullness over the lungs during percussion this could possibly suspect the presence of a mass or consolidation percussion Ask the patient to sit upright with the back exposed and ask to take a deep breath and hold it. Then begin percussing at the base of the right scapula and move downward towards the patient's diaphragm. When you detect a change from resonance to dullness, you will have found your first anatomic landmark. Tell your patient to breathe and place a mark at this site before continuing to the next step. Now, ask your patient to exhale as much as possible and hold it. This time, begin percussing at your first landmark and move upward on the posterior thorax towards the scapula. When you notice a change from dullness to resonance, you will have found the second landmark. Place a mark at this site. Repeat this technique on the other side of the patient's posterior thorax so that you can compare measurements on the right and left sides. Once you obtain your two landmarks, measure the distance from one line to the other to determine diaphragmatic excursion. Normal excursion distance is 3 to 5 cm. Physical findings must be interpreted in light of all previously collected data. The general scheme is to develop a postulate and test it with further history, additional observations or maneuvers on physical examinations and laboratory tests.